ISIS has been making advances and it's reaching the Iraqi Kurdish border. We're hearing reports of people being slaughtered. We're hearing of tens of thousands, in fact, hundreds of thousands of people who fled uh, during this period. There are tens of thousands of people stuck on a mountain near Sinjar where they're, you know, you're hearing reports of children dying of thirst because they don't have enough food and water. We, as public opinion, we as the people of the world, have to react to this human calamity. Um, ISIS, or the Islamic uh, um, State of Iraq, its banner is fascism of today. It must be condemned internationally by everybody and it must be treated as a fascist movement and the world needs to stand up against this fascist barbaric group. We have to organize and mobilize one of the strongest uh, forces that we have done in the past against the fascists, against the Nazis, and this time we have to do it against the Islamic State, these reactionary savages. We all need to take a stand against this situation, uh, people of the world, left, liberal, conservative, whatever you are, you're human. And we as human beings have to react to this situation. This is our, our humanity that's on the line. And uh, all of those uh, people who are dying in Iraq and Syria at the hands of this Islamist movement, at the hands of ISIS, at the hands of the Islamic State, you know, we have to take action, come to the streets in opposition to them, speak out in opposition to them. They seem frightening. They seem like they are invincible, but they're not. We come from a huge movement in Iran that has brought the Iranian regime to its knees, and we will bring Daesh to its knees as well, the ISIS. Join us.